Hi Virgo, welcome to your October monthly reading. I'll begin right away with the general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. Whoa! <laughs> Current energy flies out right away. Remember though that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. Always trust your intuition. But the Emperor flies out with the Six of Wands, so... The current energy for you is very positive. You're becoming really successful in your own world and being your own leader. Possibly finding success within your own business. All right, let's see past your outside influences. Hey, buddy. Just gotta finish this reading, then we'll go for a walk. Two of Pentacles. So trying to decide where to go from here and how to balance out your work and emotional life. One more card to clarify past or outside influences. This one, Six of Cups. Going back in the past, possibly reconnecting with somebody from your past. And this could be something to do with your decision for the future. I can clarify that after. Okay, let's keep going. Blocks and lessons. Whoa, Knight of Pentacles. So planting roots, building up the coins. This is my card of earthing. You guys know I always mention this, to take off the shoes and ground down into nature. Calm, calm down the mind and get inspiration too for business plans and how to build your abundance. Seven of Swords. I feel like the lesson is not to build your abundance in a way that is not in the light. It always has to be clear and grounded in nature. It has to be something that is good for nature and good for yourself, I'm feeling. That's a really great lesson. All right, let's see how your person or situation is feeling about you. The Empress, wow. So they see you as being very attractive, very nurturing right now, taking care of yourself and doing good things for the world, for your community. One more card for Virgo. Eight of Cups. And they are seeing you as deciding if you want to walk away or not. You're still undecided, I'm feeling. Interesting. If this is not a love reading for you, the Empress and the Eight of Cups is about coming back into your power by letting go of something emotional from the past that is still causing you some pain. The Seven of Wands flies out. This goes well with the Six of Wands. So as you're becoming more successful, successful, <laughs> you need to protect yourself. Surround yourself with people that aren't hating on you. Obviously, that's going to help bring in more abundance. And let's pull one more card to clarify that Seven of Wands. Wow, Queen of Cups. Again, trusting your intuition, moving into full abundance above the Six of Wands. I also like the Queen of Cups with the Emperor. If you are looking for something romantic or in a relationship, that's a really good balance energy for you guys. And justice. Wow, look at this. I love when this happens. Justice above the Seven of Swords. So if there was something going on in your life that was shady, that you feel was just not cool on whatever level that is for you, there's so many, you will find justice and then balance too. You trusted your intuition and you knew that something was going on with the Seven of Swords and now I could see you're walking away from that Seven of Swords and moving into a healthier version of yourself, 
a stronger version of yourself and becoming more grounded in the process. I love that. That feels really good. Empowering. And yeah, the Nine of Cups. So as you get your justice, you'll find that balance and then your Nine of Cups will be coming in. Your wish fulfillment card, something you've been wishing and hoping for will be coming your way in October into November, I'm feeling for you. All right, Virgo, let's clarify with the Sun and Moon Tarot. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Shady Vibes. Nine of Wands. Yeah, having the strength to keep going. You're almost done this cycle, this fiery cycle with whatever happened with the Seven of Swords. So staying within your strength, you're almost done. And I also want to clarify this Justice card with the Nine of Cups. More the, on the Justice side. Yes, Seven of Swords again. Wow. This has been coming up a lot. I feel like there's so many situations going on right now where what was created in the dark is coming to light. And this is just another clarification of that double. This happened, I think, in the Leo reading for last month. Wow. So that is a nice clarification if you want to check out that video. Leo, September. <laughs> wow. We feel that. It's connected somehow. All right. Let's clarify the Empress and the Eight of Cups. If this is a romantic reading, let's see how your person is feeling about you. They're going to surrender to you walking away or staying. They're just surrendering to the fact that you are an empress for them. The empress is also above the Six of Cups, so I'm feeling that they are reflecting on the fact that in the past, Something could have happened. Not sure if they're part of the shady seven of swords. I'm not really feeling that though. I feel like that's separate. But they are definitely reflecting, reflecting and surrendering to the love vibe and the empress here. All right. Let's do an oracle card. Feels busy outside tonight. All right. Oh wow! Harvest gathering of blessings number forty-four. Yes. This to me is connected to this justice card. Blessings are coming your way. Balance is coming. Justice is coming. And also, your heart space will be healing. Number forty-four. That fourth chakra for you is going to be getting stronger. I'm trying to put her by the eagle. <laughs> I feel like she wants to be there. <laughs> All right. One more oracle card. Cosmic Dancer for Virgo. Also want to put an amethyst on the seven of swords here. And also this one. Okay. And this on the justice card. Bring in that power for you, that clarity for you, that you deserve. All right. Find your motivation. This came up for another reading. I cannot remember though. <laughs> number 11. I could be a number to look out for to clarify what motivates you, what's gonna make you move forward for October. And yeah, I think that's a great place to leave it, to Virgo. Keep moving towards your goals. Things are really working out with the Six of Wands and the Emperor and the Queen of Cups here too. And Kiefer is also ready to bounce. So <laughs> I hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy the rest of October. Hope to see you for the mid-monthlies if not for the November monthlies. <laughs> Bye for now.